I know some of you have been waiting for Wildlife Corner, Wildlife Corner. And today's animal is the ostrich. Okay, so now this is a special request from my dear sister Monica Tanyan, whose birthday is next week. Monica, hope you're watching. This is for you. Okay, so what I've been... Whenever, whenever I start looking at these things, I mean, I've seen these animals, I know a bit about them, but when I get into researching them, my jaw just drops with amazement at all the interesting things that I'm learning. So let's just start at the beginning. The ostrich is a bird, as you all know. It's a flightless bird. It has huge wings and they don't fly. Okay, the Kiswahili word for ostrich is Mbuni. Ready to try that one? Mbuni. Okay, and the Maasai word is Esidai. Sound familiar? Esidai. Remember we talked about Esidai without the E. Sidai meaning beautiful and good. So that just goes to tell you something about the way Maasai people think about ostriches. We're going to talk a little bit more about that later. So here we have the male ostrich. The male ostrich can be up to nine feet tall. Is that amazing? So they range from between um, six and a half feet tall to nine feet tall when they're adults. And the females, and as you can see, they're kind of, the feathers are black and white, very beautiful feathers. I'll get it a little bit closer. Can you see that? A very long neck and very long legs. And the female is brown. Very beautiful. There are actually two species of ostriches. One is the one that I just showed you, which is the common ostrich. And there's actually something called the Somali ostrich. Um, the subspecies of common ostrich that we have in Kenya are the Maasai ostriches. Their necks and their skin of their legs is slightly pinkish, not super pinkish. Actually, there's another subspecies that's very pink. And the difference between the Somali ostrich is that the, the Somali ostriches, the males especially, have blue skin. And during mating season, they become actually bright blue, which is, I've never seen that. That's, that. That would be really interesting to see. Okay, so, the, so some other interesting things about ostriches, their eggs are huge. It's the biggest bird, and it makes sense that it has the biggest egg. It could be up to 3.3 pounds. That's the same size, that's the same weight as 24 regular chicken eggs. Just think about the kind of omelet that you could make with an, with a, with an egg that size. The other thing about um, ostriches is that they're very strong. They have very strong legs that give a seriously strong kick. They can actually kick a lion and do serious damage. Um, one thing about the, the ostriches in, in, in the Maasai mind, I asked Larasha about this, and he was saying that Maasai people think about ostriches as being peaceful and calm, but also brave. So um, he was also telling me some ways that they, they use um, some of the things from the ostriches, like the beautiful feathers. In Maasai culture, they have... Um, they're very famous for Maasai warriors. When boys are, let's say, nine, nine or ten, they start undergoing um, the process of becoming a warrior. And one of the things that happens to them when they're warriors, they have to undergo circumcision. So in order to become peaceful and calm, to be able to, be, be able to, to, to go through that, that circumcision without flinching or without being afraid, is they actually look for ostrich feathers that they put into their headdresses. And those ostrich feathers, they get not, they don't kill ostriches. They actually gather them from the ground where the, where the ostriches have been sort of rolling around and, and like scratching themselves and cleaning themselves. And they just, they grab those, those ostrich feathers. The other thing that they use are pieces of ostrich eggshell. And they believe that um, because of this quality of this, of the ostriches of being peaceful and calm, that it's a blessing. 
So they put it, um, they actually put a hole through it and they put it on a small cord and they put them on both of their ankles. So two days before they go undergo the circumcision ceremony, they have, um, you know, they, they wear them so that they'll be in good shape for that ceremony. Um, the other thing, amazing thing about ostriches is that it seems like people have been fascinated with the beauty of ostrich eggs and the exotic and valuable nature of them for thousands of years because they've been found, decorated ostrich eggs have been found in tombs. And um, so like way back into the into 40,000 years ago, but actually like a hand painted ostrich egg was found in Etruscan tombs in Italy. Um, from 5,000 years ago. And here's an example of a modern ostrich egg that has been painted and decorated. And some of you also may know that ostrich feathers were used to decorate women's hats. And also there were plumes put in uh, the, the, the helmets of soldiers um, in, in history. I've actually seen pictures of that. And um, so that was just something amazing that I learned about ostriches. Um, so I don't know if any of you guys have any questions. By the way, ostriches have been known to roar like a lion. The male ostriches actually have a chamber in their in their throat, which they, they expand, and they make something that sounds kind of like a lion's roar. And I'm going to try it for you right now. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, that's the sound I heard. <laughs> so that was, people actually got confused thinking that an ostrich sound was a lion sound. So they do it, of course, to send out warnings to predators coming. And female ostriches have been known to be so serious about protecting the young in their nest that they've kicked lions and actually killed them with they're kicking. That's how strong they are. That's how brave they are. And of course, that's another quality that people ad admire in ostriches. So that's the end of our wildlife corner today. It kind of wraps up our program, our third Facebook Live.